57. As soon as you rise above mere survival, the question of meaning and purpose becomes a paramount importance in your life. Many people feel caught up in the routines of daily living, you say, that seem to deprive their life of significance. Some believe life is passing them by or has passed them by already. Others feel severely restricted by the demands of their job and supporting a family. Some are consumed by stress, lost in frantic doing. Many people long for the freedom and expansion that prosperity promises. Others already enjoy the freedom that comes with prosperity and discover that even that's not enough to endow their lives with true meaning. There is no substitute for finding true purpose. Mm -hmm. So how do we do it? Now, what you just read basically, of course, means that many people spend their lives in a state of almost permanent dissatisfaction, right. unfortunately. Uh, so they are maybe looking for some purpose, or they may have given up hope that there is some purpose for them, and they're just surviving mm -hmm. or making a living or caught up in the doing. Caught up in the doing, uh, in the stress of it. Right. And so, usually when we talk about purpose, when people talk about purpose, they think of purpose in terms of future. Where am I going? What am I supposed to do? Mm -hmm. What's the direction I'm going? What is my goal, the goal that I want to achieve? And that, of course, is there. It has its place, but I call that the outer purpose more fundamental than the outer purpose is what most people usually overlook. And that is the realization that what matters most is finding your inner purpose. Now, to most people, that initially doesn't mean anything, inner right. purpose. And this is why I explain it briefly in the dialogue that is there in that chapter, where somebody asks about, I want to know what my purpose is, and I tell that person, your purpose is to be here at this moment and asking that question, because right. this is where you are. So inner purpose is aligning your life fully with the present moment, so that you are no longer out of alignment with the present moment, which, is, which leads to the state of dissatisfaction that we talked mm -hmm. about, that is the reality for many people. Mm -hmm. So you have to go, first of all, beyond the state of dissatisfaction that is so many people's reality. Right. But you cannot go beyond the state of dissatisfaction through some future goal that says, one day I would like to be in a state of fulfillment or satisfaction. No, you have to enter the state of fulfillment and satisfaction by becoming one internally with the present moment. And the, your purpose then, your inner purpose, is that alignment with where you are right now, to be totally where you are and whatever you are doing, even if it doesn't look like your, the life purpose for the, that you right. want for the next 30 right. years, right. whatever you are doing now, to be total in doing it, and no matter what it is, to be true to life by being true to this moment. Yeah. As you say on page 271, there is always only this one step, and so, you give it your fullest attention. This doesn't mean that you don't know where you're going. It just means that the step that you're taking right now is primary. The destination is secondary. And what you encounter at your destination once you get there de depends on the quality of this one step. I love this so much because I discovered this when I was in the third grade. I couldn't articulate it this way in the third grade. But when I was in the third grade, I turned in a book report early in this driver's class. And the reaction that I got from my third grade teacher taught me or informed me that when you do your best, when you do your best in any given moment, that is well received. Because my third grade teacher told all the other teachers in the teacher's lounge and I became known as this kid who really loved to read. And that's why we're sitting here today, <laughs> because of that. But I learned in the third grade this whole process of, Whatever you're doing in any given moment, if you do it your best, it leads you to the next best moment. Yeah. So you don't have to worry about what's the next moment coming if you only do your best in this moment. That's right, because when the next moment comes, it comes as this moment. Right. Uh, the future 
you never experience the future as the future. You experience the future when it comes as the now, because that's all there is. That's all there ever is. And that's an amazing realization for people to realize life is always just this. It's always the now. Yeah. It's interesting because last week we had Nick from uh, the Bodhi Tree. And you, you said to, and when Nick was up talking about uh, he had to well you have to worry about your bills and you said well you don't have to worry about you have your to bills. pay your bills you have to but... pay your bills <laughs> but you don't have to worry about yeah. paying your bills I don't know about the rest of you but that lesson has sort of been with me all week so anytime I'd find myself you know in the mind worrying about something I don't have to worry about this I can either figure out what to do about it or re release that thought yes yeah yes. So if the bill is here, but the money is not there right now, I can't do anything, put it aside, and put then aside. see what action can I take now. And then you do whatever action you can take now. Yeah. If you can't, can't take any action, then you just be with it. Yeah. Right. But I love that when I read that there is always only this one step. And so you give this one step your fullest attention. That's in the middle of page 271, everybody. And this doesn't mean you don't know where you're going. It just means that this step is primary and the destination is secondary. And what happens is most people are living their lives as though the destination, the end, yes. the well, end is what it's all about. Yes, as if the end were more important than, than uh, the means. Than means. And so the means and the end, however, are one. Right. So if there's a dissatisfaction and a denial of the present moment, which is a denial of life, right. you're not honoring life if you don't honor this moment by being open to mm -hmm. this moment, then that is how you will experience the future, because the future is no more than an extension of now. Right. You also say on page 271, the unconscious assumption behind all such action is, is that success is a future event and that the end justifies the means, but the end and the means are one. You say that. Let's say you're a business person. After two years of intense stress and strain, you finally manage to come out with a product or service that sells well and makes money. Success in conventional terms, yes, but in reality, you spent two years polluting your body as well as the earth with negative energy. You made everybody crazy. <laughs> I don't say that. But you made everybody and everybody yeah. around you crazy and affected others you didn't even know. The unconscious assumption behind all of this action is that success is a future event and that the end justifies the means, but the end and the means are one. And if the means did not contribute to human happiness, neither will the end. Yes. So whatever the end result is, it's going to carry the energy of what it took to get there. Yes, that's it. Yes, yes. That's exciting. Yes, and that means you actually, you, you determine what kind of future you're going to experience by deciding to be total, totally aligned with the present moment. That's right. It's your, it's your state of consciousness now that will determine whatever is manifested yes. in the future. And when that happens, that'll just be now. Yes. I got that. I got that very much. OK, so let's, let's continue with this lesson before we go to Ivy a little bit. You say, the true, pur true or primary purpose of your life cannot be found on the outer level. To me, that's the essence of what this book is all about. Everybody who's searching and waiting for answers and looking for it on the outer level, it does 